is a stereotype of scientists. One, that they're male and they're boring, they don't dress well, and they're like very awkward. I'm obviously not that type. You know, I'm a Latina woman, so I've got that Latina passion. I'm a person of faith. I sing, I dance, I love clothes. I'm not your typical scientist. And I always knew that being true to myself, being true to what drives me, was going to be the key to a successful and satisfying career. My name is Dr. Jessica Taff. I'm a microbiologist by training, and I have used my PhD in microbiology and my experience studying infectious diseases like HIV and malaria to apply that in the world of global health, which is really important in everybody's lives. And I especially feel this now with COVID. I grew up in the United States. I was born here. My mom is Paraguayan. <laughs> The Latin culture definitely plays into who I am and how I grew up. There's just this love of life. And family is so important, so important to us. My dad's side, he's your typical wasp, I guess, you know, Caucasian. He's a forester. You know, that, that played into my childhood in a way that, you know, we were out in nature. We always learned about science. Both of them encouraged not just us experience science, but other subjects like music and art. My mom has this funny story about me. She says, I always knew you were gonna be a scientist because you used to mix all of my perfumes. I always had this interest in the biology of infectious diseases, but also really wanted to be involved in global health and apply my scientific expertise, my biomedical expertise in that arena. And the first roadblock was having people understand what type of career I wanted, because it was not your typical academic career, your typical research career. I couldn't really figure out how I was gonna live at the intersection of that. And that was incredibly frustrating because it was something that I wanted to do. Another roadblock was I felt like I had to tone down my personality in order to be respected. So for instance, the first months that I was doing my postdoc at the National Institutes of Health, I didn't wear my red lipstick because I didn't want people to focus on that and then not take me seriously. I wanted them to focus on my science first. I really shouldn't have done that. But yeah, because I didn't see a lot of people like me, I felt like I had to fit in, in the way that just wasn't really authentic to who I am. To do something that felt true to my passion and true to my professional mission, I had to find my community to help me figure this out. I sought out, you know, what the global health community was. I found other people that understood the things that I was excited about and passionate about. I also met other people like myself and made friends with them and realized that there's a lot of diversity in science. There's a lot of other people like me. I feel like throughout my career, I've grown. I accept myself. And by not conforming, by staying true to myself, to my culture, to who I am, this gave me the confidence to pursue and make a, a path to my own type of career. I knew that I could use my scientific knowledge in the world of public health to make a difference in people's lives. And then, you know, at some point, people started to notice that my points were valid. So I left the lab. I did a, a bunch of consulting and science in the global health arena, working for groups like the World Bank, United Nations, which was fantastic. Like that was definitely the realm that I enjoy being in. It just clicks. You know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that's what keeps me moving forward. When COVID hit, 
This was this huge realization of like, this is what I have been preparing for my entire life. This is why science is important to global health, right here, right now. So scientists swooped in, they went to sequence the virus to better understand it. Now, a year later, we've got people getting vaccines. Like, that's amazing. Scientists have been heroes in this pandemic, and it's been so exciting to see that play out. Everyone is going to remember this moment in time. They will remember having lived through COVID. I hope that the next generation of scientists get inspired by this moment and how important science is. I'm a new mom. I have this precious little baby girl. I hope she grows up in a world where she feels like she can do whatever she wants, where diversity in expression and personality and culture, all sorts of things is celebrated, appreciated, tolerated. And I'd love that if she chose a, a career in science, she didn't feel stifled. She felt like she fit in and she could express her scientific self in whatever way she wanted. If you inspire a girl to go into a STEM career and show her the different ways that she can do what she loves, she can change the world.